Welcome everybody, this is your boy Jordan Motoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez G and Z Gaming, and even Morty Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go in some of my description below and go and check them out, and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to create your own custom context command menu inside your Discord bot. Now if you don't know what is a context menu that I will explain in the video. But before we do get straight into it, if you're new here then all you gotta do is go inside my description below and now go and click on the invite link and now that link will redirect you to my Discord server. When you are on my Discord server, all you gotta do is go to the Verify Here channel and verify that you are human. Then go to the Roles channel, then go and select the Download Role. Now that role will unlock the Downloads category. Then go to the Download category and select the Repellent Fox channel. Now all you gotta do next is go to the Discord version 13.2 handler and fork the source codes from Repellent. Now it will redirect you to Repellent, all you gotta do is fork the source codes. Now unfortunately I have already done it so I don't need to do it. Once you have done that then go to the Discord again, then go to the codes and forks category and then go to the templates channel and now inside the template channel we got loads of templates for your commands. We have got the context menu message type we've got context menu user type we've got slash commands and even basic commands now top over here it talks about the context menus there's two types of context there's user type and message type now the user type for context menu is all about interacting with the user and now the message context menu it's all about interacting with the user's message. So in this video, it's all about the context menu using the user type. So, all you gotta do is keep scrolling down until you find type user. There it goes. So, copy this, okay? And then now go back to your palette. And now what we are going to do is that we are going to do a simple hello world. Go to slash commands. Now inside your slash commands folder, there will be a context folder. Open up that folder. And now all you gotta do next is just, just go to your context folder. Then right click and create a new file. Then name that file whatever you want, okay? But I'm gonna name it hi.js then press enter and then paste your template right there now like what I said I'm just going to do a basic hello world so you guys know it works so the next thing that we're going to do is go up here to name and now make sure you change the name to whatever command you are going to create hi then go to line 17 and then now delete that and then now add your message over there and then now there we go now go to line 14 and now delete this and then there we go now after that all you gotta do next is just run your bot and now it's connected Go back to your Discord server and now all you got to do is go to your user, any user, right click and then go to apps and you'll see hi right there, see? 
and now select that button and it will say hello world now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add more into the command like for an example embeds so all you got to do is go back to repellet stop the bot go to line one and now go over here next to clients and I'll type message embed then now line there now once you guys have done that then all you got to do next is go down the bottom now go over here to make more room to see okay then there you go then drag this towards the side so you can see the whole thing now over here it says const user equals await client dot user dot fetch interactions dot target id now this is really important you do not delete that okay because this is the code that actually gets data from the user which is the target id okay so make sure you do not delete that so all you got to do now is come over here then i press enter then i press enter again then type const embed uh equals um equals um equals new message embed now remember make sure you spell it correct okay then now go over here again okay and now we are going to do some some words okay so set um title and there we go and then now uh, the title is going to be um a basic hello world hello world now what you can do over here is that you can do underline two like this one two three four and then one two three four and now you can do uh bold one two and one two now you can put it like that if you want to okay now we're going to add a color dot set color and there and then there now like always i like red so red is ff0000 and then we're going to add like um a time step dot set um time step like that okay and then there you go okay now if you want to add like a user id or anything like that then you can all you got to do is press enter again and now dot add add um add field there you go now when you do dot add field it's a bit different okay now if you want to like put another user id there then all you got to do Let's do this uh, line line uh, user ID and then now uh, dot like that then line line and do enough of that go to the side like that and then after that do the um then now after that do this now that is next to the number one on the left hand side now do that then do the dollar sign then do these two brackets there now inside the brackets okay is that you gotta do type in I think it's user ID yeah I'll type in user dot ID oh sorry small letters user dot ID there you go and then now after that go back up one look like at then go like that and now type over there next to it um true yeah true then that's it if you want to make it as mentioned okay then all you got to do over here okay is do this okay and then do the at and then on the on the side over here all you got to do 
is do the same. Okay, and do it like this. And then that's all you gotta do. If you guys can't see this, okay, um, what I would do is that I would just only paste this uh, on my Discord so you guys can just see any copy it, okay. But please, okay, try and learn, okay. And um, yeah, so I think we're finished. So I'm just gonna stop there, okay, because I don't want my videos to be over like 20 minutes, okay. Um, so now uh, we've done that, okay. We're not sending Hello World, okay, um, f f um, through here, okay. Uh, we are sending Hello World through the embed. So, all you gotta do is delete all this, delete all this, okay. Then now press Enter, okay. And then all you gotta do is type embeds like that, and then dot dot, the space. Now the box like that, then space, and then I'll type embed again, and then space, and then that's it. Then basically we're finished, okay? Um, so yeah, now what we are going to do is that we are going to run the bots, but before we do, we always need to check for spelling mistakes. So hold on guys, just give me a minute. Once you have finished checking your codes, okay, for spelling mistakes, now all you gotta do next is just run your bot. And there you go, now it's connected. Go back to your Discord server. Now your command should be a bit different. It should be way better than that than Hollow World. But before we do go and check the command, we need to do a basic ping. Now the reason why we need to do ping because we need to check to see if the command and the bot is working, okay? So here it goes. Yes, the bot is working. So let's go and check the command now. Right click, go to apps, go to high, and here we go. And there we go, yes it does work. So as you can see, it is way better than the Hello World over here. So we got Hello World there, and Hello World there, and we got the use ID, and see, it mentioned right there, and we got the timestamp over there too. And yes, it is for it is like three o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's how you guys make your own context menu uh, using the user one. Okay, and we're back again. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. But always remember, okay, always double check your codes because you don't want to get any errors. You want to bang on tight, okay? And I will be adding more and more. Um, codes inside my Discord server inside my FAQ codes. If you go to my FAQ codes inside that channel, you will see a lot of codes that you can actually use for your commands, like how to create an embed avatar thumbnail. You can copy that, or all of these other codes, like you can do like server accounts, uh, you can do server accounts, member accounts channel counts, emoji counts, command counts, you got it all inside this channel. So make sure you guys do be creative, okay, and be open-minded. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions, then let me know in the comments or just comment inside my Discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.